Welcome Rimrims and other enjoyers of morally questionable superheroes to the vault, but not the vault you were expecting. We are here at what might be our final ever vault. Now I've specifically hidden it so as not to spoil it for myself as well, but when the caravan arrived we did get a ding. And I think the game has just told us exactly what we've got right there. As with all of these new vaults, we normally get a new recruit and we do. Jesperson. Jesperson, what are you like? Ice Breath. I'll take Ice Breath happily. Sickly isn't really a big deal when you've got a state-of-the-art hospital. Xenophobe. Gormand anxious. I, I, I mean, Xenophobe fits quite well with the faction. Gormand is obviously very good. Anxious, not so much. Cooking and plant skill is quite nice. But more importantly, here we are in what may be our final ever vault. We are looking for two other machines and i have confirmed that they actually exist we're not on a wild goose chase so we are looking for two genome stabilizers both of those reduce the failure chance by 10 percent each i do have a feeling though looking at this vault immediately that this might be the same vault as the one we started in we'll definitely know when we see the lab oh yeah it's identical but our one started with a shitload of super nanites and so did this one so that's great news not to mention we can always hack our way to a whole other vault so let's kick that one off i think what we'd have to do this time though is ah I was going to say we'll have to drop the steel off first and then head back, but the seal vault is basically on the way home. A little bit of a detour. Man, look at the medicine and the components too. These elephants. <laughs> yeah, these elephants are borderline game-breaking of all the things. Legendary shield belt. Okay, good for our melee characters. We've converted someone. Well, I was just about to mention, of course, we have our secondary project going on here. We have Linda, an ascendant from the order we were able to capture yesterday. I want to take her and combine her side powers with superpowers and bionics and everything. Use her as a weapon. We're going to give everybody the side powers, of course, because we're trying to rely on our superpowers this time around. But I thought it would be kind of fun to see both together on a character. And I mean, what good superhero doesn't have an eventual redemption of some sort of villain? So we get her recruited right away. You know what? I think we still haven't converted Fister either, have we? Oh, and of course, we've got our new recruit yesterday from one of the vaults. We visited Alverson, who I've renamed to Backfire, given that they have... Fire and lightning, good for frying people, but they also have 300% pain. To get around that, I have thrown in a pain stopper, and I've started to upgrade, well, not upgrade, but replace the missing limbs that we had. We're not just going to bionicify everybody this time around. We do it all the time. It's a kind of standard Rimworld M game, but I want to rely again on the, on the superpowers themselves. What is that? What are you? Deathbreaker, a Persona Zeus Hammer? That's not what Persona Zeus Hammer's... It'll look like, at least as far as I remember. Wow, wee, look at that thing. Now, it's probably a good time to mention, I also upscaled all the textures in the game and all the textures of every mod. It might make things look crispier, but I have a feeling YouTube compression will turn it into a blurry, smeary mess. If it's terrible, I'll fix it for tomorrow. It will only be one episode. But obviously, I don't know if it's going to look better or worse until YouTube's ruined it. But the plus side, though, is now if we get some fancy-looking weapon, we can zoom all the way down on that. <laughs> I feel like I might have gone a little bit too far, but that's all right. All right, I lied. We've looted the first vault, but we had way too much shit to bring back, so we're going to have to take a second trip out. And it does make me feel glad that even though Defibrillator was horribly murdered, his legacy really does live on. I wouldn't have tried to tame these elephants if it wasn't for Defibrillator. If we hadn't tried to tame one of these elephants, we wouldn't have everything. All these untold riches, weapons, an entire lab. Granted, we wouldn't have also had ridiculous raids. Now today, along with giving everybody superpowers, recruiting a son from the order and creating a size superhero i also want to build that giant factory i talked about yesterday we've got all of these resources we've got a crazy amount of steel now we need so much more extra work to process all the other materials down oh i might have made a, made a mistake there ah oh, shit i might have actually broken more than i <laughs> more than i fixed <laughs> welcome to the channel we're not gonna have many good builders left behind because hackerman is our best builder but also we need hackerman to hack things and apparently get got worms Major Brett Risk, Corn Dog, and Thister. Damn it. A lot of people seem to be big fans of the cheese. So we will be building the industrial cheese press as our first machine. Only problem is we will need some milk to do that. Can you milk an elephant? I mean, just because you can probably doesn't mean that you should. What have we got out there in the world? Oh, we shot everything, didn't we? Who's Raker? Oh, it's our mascot wild woman. At this point, I feel like we should, we should tame her. Come on, genome stabilizer. Show me. Oh. And a new recruit. Kind of expected that. Hemingberg. Hemingberg. Do you have the genome stabilizer? Okay, okay, hold on. Don't spoil it for us, Hackerman. Where's, where's the door? Oh, hello. I don't remember if we've seen a vault like this before. I think we have. I think I remember the dual turrets in the entrance. That might mean no genome stabilizer for us today. Lots of power armor, though. I'll take that happily. No crypto sleep caskets with anyone in this time. Would you get some sim thread? Thank you. That was worth the journey. Oh, my God. 35 super nanites. 
Wow. Oh, and then of course, Hemmingberg. Hemmingberg, what have you... What is that? Fire breath. I like that. Cold resistance. Warm man. That's a terrible name. <laughs> and before we begin stripping it for parts, let's get Hacker Man to hack our way to the next vault. Here we go. All right, it's close again, but I worry we're going to fill up both elephants. I, I really should start taming more elephants. Thing vault number three is the same again. White pig? <laughs> I only just picked up on that. Hello. You are not getting renamed. That's the superhero power right there. My God, we're getting a lot of people during this hunt, aren't we? He is super learning. That's a very, very good skill. Sickly. Again, good state of the art hospital. Not too bothered about that one. White pig. Top plants, double passion, incapable of intellectual crafting. Not a big deal. But in a moment, we're going to be going through a lot of vaults today. We don't have to keep every hero. We could put them in the pod and blast them off to another vault. If anything, that makes the most sense because they're already ancients. We're just sending them to whatever this other mysterious master vault is that has all this crazy gear they've been sending back. Maybe it's a utopia. Maybe it's an organ farm. I don't know. It's not my responsibility to know. There he is. Man, is that Enclave Power Armor? Advanced Power Armor. There it is. Look at that. 160% Sharp Armor. Wowee. Hack and show me what we've got. Another hero. Again, we don't have to take everybody, and I'm certainly not going to take everybody because it's going to be a lot of free people otherwise. Thorvid. Thorvid. You are... Heal others and empathy. Dr. Thorvid is a good medical. He's got okay medical. You know, we've been looking for a chief of nursing. Mute and blind, though. Oh, yikes. We're definitely going to have to try and remove those negatives pretty fast. And then in coffin number two. Sorry, sarcophagus. I don't really like it when you call it a coffin. Hello. Ab a Absolonson. Close enough of the raccoon clan. Superpowers are heat resistance and hallucination. See, I, I think that's the type of person we should blast off. I don't know if they're interesting enough to, to take them on as a, another part of the colony, especially when we're picking up this many people. My God. Attack our broadcast station and then into the, I assume, the lab proper. Yeah, nothing here again. Damn it. Lots and lots of super nanites, but not really worth a gamble right now, is it? Well, business as usual then, I guess. Let's get it all stripped for parts. Holy crap, that's a lot of people. Let's, let's only keep one of them. Send the rest off, because this is just going to be way too much to try and keep track of otherwise. So let's take a look at their powers first and foremost and decide who we want to keep. Jesperson has the immunity weakness, but ice breath superpower. You have fire breath and cold resistance, which I think is already better. So Hemingbird's the top of my list. This sucks. Prideful sucks, but it's not a big deal. Pain hypersensitivity. We stop with the pain blocker. Again, that also isn't a, a perfect solution, but that's all right. White pig can learn shit fast. But I don't know if that's good enough to keep him around, to be honest. I'll steal his armor, though, of course. You've got empathy and heal others, but you're also mute and blind, which makes you just terrible in combat. You are pretty boring. Hallucination and... What is it? Heat resistance. Yeah. Um... Oh, that's a hard choice. I feel like I want to keep Hemingberg. He's got fire powers and cold resistance. He's like quite themed. But I mean, look at it this way. We saved them from the vault that they were locked in. If it wasn't for Hacker Man, they might have starved to death in there. They wouldn't have because each vault has <laughs> a shitload of meals. But you know. Do any of you guys have anything I want to take? Not really. I'll take the marine boots and the marine gloves for sure. I think it's... Oh, my God. Look at his armor. Well, say goodbye to Thorvid, White Pig, Absolonson, and Jesperson. Hope you guys have a nice journey over to whatever this new vault is. Tribal humanism rituals deactivated. That's another big problem with keeping all those people. We'd have to sit there and convert them all. And I think I've had enough conversion to last me a lifetime already. Hemingberg, we're going to rename to uh, Flamio Hotman. Yeah. On the plus side, we got this absolutely nuts advanced power armor out of it. Who's our best combat character? I, I think Huntsman. So let's give you the advanced power armor, the marine boots, and the marine gloves. <laughs> Wowie. Look at that. The Day of Terror is here. Wow, with the boots on the floor like that, makes it look like a giant mech. <laughs> I'm sorry to keep hammering this point home. We are the good guys. Now, I'm going to be honest, with um 11,000, almost 12,000 steel there and two elephants still full of shit, I don't think we actually have to loot any more steel going forward. So that should save us quite a lot of time. We just go vault to vault looking specifically for the machinery. I might even have to launch some of this steel up into orbit because not only that, we've got... Just a shitload of steel rooms still to melt down. So let's head out straight away, but let's just go vault to vault. Don't worry about looting it anymore unless there's, say, again, the turrets, the point defense turrets, that type of thing. Next one's bloody miles away, though. Look at that. I'm going to send them with 200 package of meals, 30 medicine, and I'm going to say, don't come home until you've got the machinery that we need. Oh, hear me out here. Backfire can't do anything at all because of that 
weakness she has, she will just not work. It's a 70% chance of failure, but until we find these machines and it's 4.2 days travel time to that other vault minimum, it could be a very, very long time before Backfire can do anything if we don't try and remove it. I should also point out, it's not guaranteed death. So many people seem confused about that. There are multiple outcomes that are negative from that brain damage, Berserk. We've seen Berserk in this one. So many people thought that it was 70% chance of just straight up dying, which isn't the case at all. And if you've got a 70% chance of dying and there's three negative outcomes, that's still a 23.3 uh, recurring chance of them dying, which isn't good at all, don't get me wrong. But when they are essentially useless, like less than useless, they can't even do regular crap like hauling, cleaning. I'm sorry, Backfire, but maybe this is why you're named what you are. <laughs> <laughs> okay, lab is back online. We should have more than enough power for it. Although it did cut a power grid in half. My god. In you get backfire and remove weakness. 70% chance. Even with those other two machines, it would only knock it down to 50%. Two days, 10 hours. And we've got Dr. Man. So Berserk is arguably not a negative outcome whatsoever. Worth mentioning from that other vault as well, I did loot some more super nanite containment because we've looted a lot of nanites. We don't need any more vitals monitors either because the hospital is... Fully upgraded. We've got Vitals Monitor uh, attached to every single bed in here, and we've got 13 hospital beds and five crypto sleep suspenders. I think we're probably good. Now, as for these point defense turrets, I don't know entirely how they work, but what I have been doing is placing them around the map. So I've thrown one out here to, to give it a big bit of coverage because this thing can fire at drop pods, fire at explosive projectiles. That way, if we do get a raid dropping right in the middle of our base with enough coverage here from enough vaults, we can force them to essentially always be outside of the walls. Uh, assuming that's you know, actually how that works. Oh, backfire. Suffered severe brain damage and gone mad. <laughs> I might say that that really backfired. But when you say severe brain damage, though, is she like... No, her brain is fine. I I, I guess it's not like a, like a permanent brain damage. Just, uh, she's gone a bit nuts. Dr. Man? Dr. Man, where are your clothes? <laughs> oh, backfire, backfire, backfire. No, 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 no. Don't get into a fist fight with Captain Radiator. The man's got plastic claws. Okay, okay, here you go, here you go. Let's go there. Oh, the fucking turrets, though. Go, Dr. Man. Oh, thank God. She had a shield, so she probably wouldn't have immediately been glowed down, but I'm still not going to risk that. What I am going to risk, though, is round two. Another two days, ten hours. And speaking of which, perfect timing. They're at the next vault. Do you have another recruit for me? Oh, this one looks different. Have we seen a door on the left before? Gertson. Hello. Powers. Okay, he's got Master Hacker as well and Electricity Blast. He will not fight. Conscientious Objector. He's become incredibly conscientious and refuses to use weapons or even defend himself in the face of violence. I'm sorry, you're going in the pod. Oh, not only that, he's also got Prideful. We've already got a hacker. We've already got two Electricity people. You not wanting to fight at all. Admirable in our colony, given our whole charitable meme, our hospitals and everything. The last thing we need, honestly, is people refusing to fight when the order turn up. This has to be it. This has to be the one. Ignore everything else. We'll pick up the raw resources if it's worth it. We obviously don't need any more steel. That's not what we're after. Mucus inducer and nanite injector pumps. Come on. Oh, genome stabilizer. That's definitely it, right? Yes. Close proximity will cut the chance of the experiment failure by 10%. We need two of those. But that is a good start. And we got a shitload more super nanites. All right, fine. We need another vault like this then to finish the job. I guess we'll... We'll take this apart because that has more super nanites in it. And I think we'll probably take another couple of containment. Seeing as this is a fresh new vault, let's explore this one properly then. Okay, we got some hydroponics. And this door is kind of a recreation room, I suppose. Armory? Oh, we've got another pod. Okay, we'll definitely crack that one open. And I've noticed we've got a couple more turrets too. Poor marine armor. I mean, at this point, everybody's got pretty decent armor, right? Okay, and for our second recruit, we have... Karenson. Again, not happy about that whole tribal ritual out of it, but never mind. Oh, wow. Resistant to cold and toxin. Bloodlust, though, kind of sucks. Unsure. Aiming time times 200%. <laughs> Let me introduce you to my drop pod, Karenson. I am taking all the turrets. I, I mean, given that we still can't build our own turrets except for the mechano ones, and we definitely want more point defense. And another vault. I think we're going to move right onto it. 
Yeah, we'll, we'll just head straight down there and hope it's the same as this one. Turned out it was also an upgrade for Hackerman. That's quite nice. So I'm going to make two caravans. We're going to send our regular squad out with the things that we actually want to take with us. It'll take the Plasteel, but not the steel anymore. Definitely genome stabilizer. Even with that, it's not even a quarter of our caravan so far. And then I'll send Gutson and Karenson off to the regular vault to be airlifted to safety. Our south vault. I don't like that at all. Scorpion Slayer. What a name. Are you the Slayer of Scorpions? No. In fact, you don't do a huge amount. <laughs> what do you mean experiment fail brain death? Oh, come on, Backfire. What a redemption art this would be, though, if Backfire ends up being the most powerful. So if we take her to the gene tailoring pod for, what is it, like the bioregeneration? I think that's the one that fixes her back up. Oh, maybe not. Is it the medic cycle? No, that's fresh wounds, blood loss, and random infectious disease. Shit. Uh, maybe that one fixes her up. 17.5 days. Good lord. Sooner just find her a new brain than do that. Uh, brain. Chemical burn scar painful. Takes her down to, oh my god, 10% consciousness. Like, malnutrition would kill her at this point. Heal one random permanent injury. I guess we don't have a choice. Dr. Man? Throw her in. It will either cure her right leg or right arm or her brain. We might have to put her in for a second and third cycle if we get really unlucky. <laughs> Never mind, no ha. Huh? Out of one pod, right into the other. Oh, it's only 8.8 .8 days. Okay, that's not nearly as bad, but that's still a bloody long time. Vault number... Oh, I don't know, like five at this point? I've kind of lost track. I've got another new recruit in the form of Monson of the Ape Clan. Hello, friend. Telepathy and healing with no second weakness. Oh, that's weird. Audacious. Pawn cannot be told what to do. Right-clicking and forcing tasks is disabled. Yikes. Also, is it just me or have they put a... <laughs> they got permission for an extension on this vault, huh? Oh... Hello there. Well, I wasn't expecting that. I'll be completely honest with you. <laughs> Is it... Was it tame, though? Centipede. It's just just kind of tame. Uh, you good? I'm sure it probably won't like an electricity blast. Well, that's bizarre. I guess we'll just kill it. Oh, hey! What have you got for me? Oh, here it comes. Look at that. It is a Stones King land. That's fantastic. Let's hack our way over to the next vault again. Left vault. It's a left vault. What the fuck is that? <laughs> left vault as in the door is on the left hand side. So it's probably the one with the gene thing that we need. Or maybe left vault as in I'm about to leave this vault because that doesn't look very friendly. Ancient giant spider. Enemy animal of ancients. Can we ignore that though? Ruins outside of an ancient vault defended by a giant spider is is exceptionally high tier RimWorld. But it's also full on nightmare fuel, so I think I'm okay. This is the same vault, right? I think we've finally done it. Well, let's have a look at Inglaugson. How are you doing? What is that? Regenerating limbs. Oh. A mutated fungal colony that can replicate missing organs. Is that good enough to keep? Honestly, I, I, I kind of think so. I really do like that as a power. Let's see. There it is. We've got it. The second and final genome stabilizer. And with that, we've done it, right? That That is the fully upgraded, fully perfected lab. I wish I'd have kept track of how many volts it took us in total. I, I think we must have been over 10 at this point. Let's get out of here then. Fuck that. Oh, we can't live until we kill the spider. Enemy presence. All right. Oh, look at it creeping along. <laughs> oh, shit. Here it comes. Get it. My god, our weapons barely even damaged the friggin' thing. Look at that. Uh, Inglaugerson, go go back in. Wow, that thing is strong. My god. Where's the insta-kill mechanic with Anne when we need her? On the plus side, though, the fire might deal with it single-handedly. Let's get a little bit closer and hit with an ice breath. A little bit. This is <laughs> a little bit dangerous to do. Oh, it's spreading fire everywhere as it runs around. Shit. It's actually unkillable. If we didn't have this fire, I don't know what we'd do. Oh god, Major Break Risk is on fire. Shit. Oh, this is a, a this is an ecological nightmare. Ooh! Got a little bit too close there, huh? There, give it the old ice breath. Nice. I was a little bit worried it would extinguish the fire, but it hasn't. I wonder if we could just let it burn. Oh god. <laughs> you know, maybe that's time to retreat. Oh no, it's raining. Damn it. Let's come back for round two. Huntsman. Do the honors. Oh, it's gone, it's down. What a majestic creature. But you have to die, big old spider. We are for sure going to have to load some of these components into the pod. 233 we're bringing back with us. Not to mention the stuff that we've already got. We've got 90 super nanites. They're worth 3,400 each. Ah. 
Right, okay. Got the genome stabilizer. We've got the ancient point defense turrets, the super nanite containment. That's everything, right? Did we deliver the other one? Wait. Yeah, that's a little bit better. I almost forgot to uninstall it then. Feels like it's been ages since our last raid, too. I don't know if going to the vaults count as... Count as an incident? We haven't had anybody turn up at all today, right? We are still on rough. Oh, God. What the fuck has happened there? Whoa. So that's when the caravan came back, but that doesn't explain why it would dip suddenly. And then it's just dropped and it stayed there. All right. Get the feeling something... <laughs> I get the feeling something might have broken a little bit. Oh, and immediately, as soon as I say that, we get an infested ship chunk right inside the base. To be fair, we've had a lot of minor incidents, like diseases and things like that. Yeah, look, we've got the flu going on right now. He's done it again. He didn't even have a suit this time. And to be honest, that couldn't have come at a better time. Otherwise, we'd start collecting too many people of different ideologies. You know what? Let's go best quality medicine now. I think we can afford it. And there we have it. I never thought I would see the day, but we finally have the fully upgraded lab. The question is, where do we begin then? I think... Well, see, Fisto hasn't got a huge amount going for him right now. He's only got super strength. With that legendary shield, he'd be pretty good in melee combat. I think the real question is, who has the biggest weakness that we'd right, like to remove? Because I think we can survive fine as it stands. Maybe Hackerman's bloodlust? I still love the idea of giving him that syringe, but we still haven't done it because we don't have new terrain. Or do we want to start with someone and fully upgrade them and try and remove all the weaknesses? Problem with that is it might be an intel situation where we put all our eggs in one basket and then they just kind of horribly die. But right, you know what, Fisto? Let's, let's give you a new superpower, my friend, because I think your weakness isn't really a big deal. You just need more recreation time. And this way we can see, look, 10% chance of failure. That's so, so good. Basically no downside to that. Oh, I mean, except for the downside. <laughs> I had Dr. Man on construction while everyone else was left just so that we could start building up a few more defenses. But now they're home. We can definitely take you off of that. How far did he get? We did a pretty good job. Someone said us in the comments yesterday to be on the same corridors in. I think it's a pretty safe idea as long as we open up somewhere for the trade caravans to get in. That way, it'll also slow them down a little bit. I've put up points for chunks to be hauled to. He didn't quite finish the job, but my God, he did a good amount of work. Now we can put him back on research and see if we can find some... Oh! Drill for oil. Or we go for psionics. I want to avoid using psionics this time around. We're all about the superpowers this time. But oil... Do love oil. Given what happened at the last vault, I think destroying ecosystems is our modus operandi at this point. We made off like an absolute bandit with these turrets. Look at this. We'll put those around the... I mean, I guess we could reinforce this killbox a little bit, seeing as it hasn't got anything. What about the ancient point defense? Let's quickly take a look. So for coverage right now, we've got this area. And this is what I'm talking about. We want to put another turret kind of down here. And one more over in this area. That we've got most of the inside of our walls covered. So one more throw down roughly about there. We don't want to cover too much of the ocean. And this one will pop down, I guess, kind of around there. They're living a little bit of a... Hmm. Middle of right side of the graveyard. Graveyard defense. Oh, nice. Okay, so the powerful Fister, we could give him plasteel claws, which I think would make a lot of sense. Master Hacker, I think, is unnecessary. And Toxic Intolerance is definitely not all right. So let's go for that one then. So he has super strength and plasteel claws. He seems to be actually pretty well themed. I was gonna say, why not give him the Persona Zeus hammer? Let's do it. Let's give Fisto the big old hammer and let's commit to making him our our melee guy then. So does that super strength affect all melee weapons? Yeah, it's just melee DPS times 200%. So if we're not fighting mechanoids, we just say, unequip the hammer, use your claws. We give him that and the shield. I've, I've got to test it. I know it's our relic, but does it work? Ah, uh, there you go. Crypto shield will be unusable. That's a shame. But there is another. We could just get him the Youngling Saver 9000. With double melee damage and a relic in each hand, he's got such a cool theme going on. I was also thinking about, why not swap Huntsman and Hellfire's armor? Hellfire's always been our big heavy weapons expert. She had the comically large armor to begin with, right? Huntsman needs to be a bit more agile. And Huntsman already kind of has that theme of the merger of bionics and superpowers. She's been that kind of technological superhero since the start. Whereas Hellfire... <laughs> Hellfire's always been more of a tank. Oh, of course it would land near the anima tree. That was close. Wow. Give me my youngling saver. I need it. Now, if you remember, Captain Radiator was going to be the melee character to begin with. I like the idea of turning him more into an assassin character now. We're talking about a character who has the lethal weapon up close, but also has the double range with any range weapon. The big problem with Captain Radiator, though, is he lost an arm, so he's lost one of his claws. Keeping him as the... As the melee superhero, it doesn't really make sense. But we could give him a big fuck off sniper and stand on the other side of the map and just pick people off. If we combine that with, say, locust armor or a jetpack or something like that so we can get around quite easy, 
He could be lethal. In fact, what's the longest range weaponry can craft? Uh, let's take a look here. Hunting, hunting rifle? Really? All right. Well, that wasn't really what I was expecting. Oh, man. Or we could go for something like the riot shotgun. Super, super high DPS. But the downside is the range. But of course, with Captain Radiator, that would kind of be eliminated. If anyone has any good ideas what to do with that, that would be kind of cool. I assume, I assume it doesn't affect grenades, but I feel like I've got to try it. I have a moral obligation to see if that works, because that would be insane. Oh, nice. There we go. Backfire is free. I guess we'll put you back in for another dose on the Gene Center and Pod now that we have the risk reduction. Let's try and take away that weakness. Still 50%. Which we could tell because 70 minus 20 is 50. <laughs> now in the top bar, I've also, to help keep track of their powers a little bit more, written a kind of synopsis of what their powers are. Dr. Man is psychic. Hellfire has heat and psi resistance. Hacker Man is, well, Hacker Man. Horn Dog has the wolf mode and night vision. Huntsman, lightning and frost. Captain Radiator for the long range vision. Major break risk. I've written toxic zombie because they've got resistance to toxic and they can resurrect after, was it three days? Flamio Hotman, of course, has the fire breath and the fire body, so immunity to frost. Fisto is Super Smash Brothers Melee, and Backfire is Fire and Lightning. M mainly Backfire more than those two, though. Oh, that was perfect timing. What have you got for me? Oh, just a shitload of uranium. Well, I, I suppose we are powering the base with uranium right now. No way! I never thought I'd see the day we finally got Linda the side character to join us. Oh, look at this. So she's got also cast in by default. Mind Fray is the one that makes them confused. And then Mind Soothe. What do they, what do they even do? Uh, Mind Soothe. There you are. Mind Soothe is a target ability that attempts to bring the target out of a mental state, similar to Dr. Man's own psychic power. Backfire is in the machine right now, but that takes up to a pretty whopping 11 super powered people. I think we'll have a, a, a soft limit of 10, but we'll say we don't want to go much further Beyond that, we certainly won't be trying to get new recruits if one of them dies. Uh, okay. Ten hunts for a major break risk here to get the information on the youngling saver, and we found a fucking masterwork monosword. All right, I'll take that one if you don't mind. Now, Linda is pretty crap at everything, our new recruit from the SciTech faction. And all this time, everybody's been super upset because we haven't got a director of nursing role, and it's a, it's a mandatory role. What if we just give her that one? Six medical. All right, that's why we won't give her that one then, I suppose. The medical is 5.09. Oh, it's a bad day to be Hacker Man. <laughs> I trust her. I think she'll do an all right job. Okay, there you go. Wait, did that work immediately? Medical level six. Boom. Dr. Man, of course, had to do the job interview. Are you Are you sure, Linda? You know how to do medicine. Can we, can we get you to kind of show us your skills? Completely fluked it. When you fluked the final exam, and now you're director of nursing for the charitable faction. That's a good character redemption arc, too. She's gone from evil Psytech to head of healthcare for the nice guy faction. We are the good guys. I'm also not sure what happened to all our steel, but apparently we've blown through, like, thousands. <laughs> I don't think that's quite right. I thought I might have left it on an elephant or something, but genuinely, it's gone. There's, there's 600 steel left. Oh, thank God. Backfire. She's lost the weakness egotistical. She's actually useful now. That means, Linda, it is your turn, my friend. That gives us 11 superpowered people, all of which are actually pretty goddamn useful. 0% chance of failure. It's, it's a guaranteed. I like that. First level is free, of course, but don't forget, after that, it's going to get harder and harder. Plus, we'll have to remove the weakness as well. I assume that'll always be capped at a flat 50%. Blight has been discovered on my mazes. Is that the right plural of maze? Mazes? I'm not sure about that one. I think it's our final thing for today. We will have our first ever new advent celebration. Something that I will admit I kind of forgot about because you need a campfire for it. But hey, now everybody's pretty much converted over to our ideology. It's a bit more important. Right in time for them to fist fight in the middle of the fucking thing. Good enough. Well, I say good enough. That's quite literally the best outcome. You've discovered the location of an ancient complex. Very nice. I, I love when I click jump to location. Kind of expected the location of the complex, not the campfire. We may go and have a look at that tomorrow, but tomorrow I want to double down and focus on the theming because we made a really, really good start today. I'm happy with Dr. Man. I'm, I'm happy with Hellfire, to be honest. I think that Fisto is also coming along really nicely. The truth is we just really don't have that much apparel research. We don't have the different types of armors. We don't have any of the Fallout armors unlocked yet. So not only did we fully complete our lab today, 
And what a mighty lab it is. I did also finish all of the bionics. I probably won't leave any of it in because it's not the most exciting thing. But any bionics we can build and replace everybody's parts with, I have done that. Oh, with the exception of this ear, which was apparently shot off recently. How dare you? So Huntsman is now no longer in pieces. She's now a complete mess because some of it is makeshift repairs and Archeotech bionics, basic bionics, regular bionics. It's kind of all over the place. There's still a lot more research to do before we can finish that off. Everybody is fixed. The lab is set up. We've started work on the factory. I don't know what happened with the raids today. That's something I need to look into. I'm not sure if it's broken or whether or not what we were doing out in the world counted as incidents so it didn't send us anything else. This though, this is definitely broken. This isn't right at all. It is still tracking our wealth accurately, of course, because it's jumped up massively there. But I'm not sure why it's showing like a flat line at the end of it. Either way, though, with 815,000 silver, I'm not looking forward to the next raid. But that's like, not going to be too much fun, even with all of our upgraded defenses, better entrances, you name it. We're probably going to get annihilated. So that's going to be a right laugh. Thank you, of course, as always, to the patrons who allow me to continue to be annihilated for the rest of my life. However very short that may be. Thank you to Dr. Hunk, Boop, Aegon into Blackfire, Hascrack, Cupog, Justin Rules, Ken the Eagle, GJ, Rim Me Gently, Dexter, Jax, Dulcimer Dangles, The White Fox God, Alvin Flang, Alchemia, MTB, and Feral Housecat for their support. The executive producer tiers over at Patreon. Thank you for your support over there. And a thank you as well to House of Blues. Nox Immortalis, Crobe, Raylan Gar, Crop Racer, Dan Does a Thing, Elite IMP, Smirtworm, Green King, Random Man 9989, Carl, McFluffy, the fluffiest of fluffies, Rommel DK, Yanosh, Richie Luigi, and Stormcrower as well for their support. Thanks. <clears throat> Get out of my house. I'm expecting guests, and you're not invited. Well, some of you are. Cash Cow and Dale can come along. The rest of you can, can leave. <laughs>